Hello everyone, in this lecture, we are going to learn conduction aphasia, but if you are new to my channel then please like and subscribe the channel. Let's start it. Conduction aphasia is a type of aphasia characterized by a specific difficulty in repeating words and phrases. What does it mean? Simply, it means that a conduction aphasia is nothing but it is just a language disorder like Broca's aphasia, and Wernicke's aphasia. But, this kind of language disorder is happened due to damage to the arcuate fasciculus. But there must be a question in your mind that what arcuate fasciculus is. So the answer is, it is a bundle of nerve fibers that connects Broca's area and Wernicke's area in the brain. I think still you are not getting the point. So, just look at this picture. Basically, one is Broca's area and next is Wernicke's area, and, between these two areas, there is a bundle of nerve fibers, you can see, this is called arcuate fasciculus. You need to remember that when this bundle of nerve is damaged, then a language disorder occurs. So, this kind of disorder is called conduction aphasia. When a person has this language disorder, so, he or she will have problems in language, like difficulty in repetition. This is one of the main symptoms of conduction aphasia. Basically, when a person has this aphasia, so he or she will not be able to accurately reproduce what has just been heard. This impairment is not due to a lack of understanding or a general inability to speak, but rather a specific disruption in the auditory motor pathway. Actually, the arcuate fasciculus, which is a white matter pathway connecting Wernicke's area to Broca's area, plays a crucial role in auditory motor coordination. Actually, damage to this pathway can disrupt the transfer of auditory information from comprehension to production, leading to repetition difficulties. Simply, you can say, damage to this place causes difficulty in repetition of heard words or phrases. Phonemic paraphasias. This is also the symptom of conduction aphasia. But, what actually phonemic paraphasias are? Basically, phonemic paraphasias are errors in speech production where one or more sounds are substituted by incorrect ones. These errors can occur when a person is trying to produce a word, a phrase, or a sentence. You need to to remember that phonemic paraphasias are one of the most common types of speech errors in aphasia. In simple words, you can say, in this aphasia one sound is substituted by another sound. For example, the person might say, pat, instead of, bat, or, tog, instead of, dog. Addition errors. This is another symptom of conduction aphasia. It means that in this aphasia an extra sound is added to a word. For example, the person might say, smat, instead of, mat, or, freg, instead of, leg. Simply, you can say a person with this aphasia will add additional sounds with words. Deletion errors. In deletion errors, a sound is omitted from a word. For example, the person might say, a, instead of, cat, or, fee, instead of, feet. Well, if you have enjoyed this lecture then please don't forget like and subscription to the channel. Thank you.